What we're going to be looking at are some examples of conversion using prefixes. Now in the first instance, what we're going to be converting is from a prefix back to the base quantity. Now if that's the case, what we need to do is multiply by the value of the prefix. Let's have a look at some examples. In the first one, we need to, to convert 50 millimeters to meters. Well, if we remember, milli stands for 10 to the power of minus 3. So all I need to do is multiply 50 by 10 to the power of minus 3. And should we just leave everything in standard form? So this is going to be equal to 5.0 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. So 50 millimeters is actually equal to 50 times 10 to the power of minus 3, which is equal to 5 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. Now, the next example is really, really important. So this is a crucial exam tip that may save you quite a little bit of time. For me personally, one of the most efficient ways of converting units when they're raised with power is to do the following. First of all, I'm just going to put some brackets around the cube. So if I, if I want to convert two centimeters cubed to meters cubed, what I would do is just write it down as two times centimeters cubed. Now, why am I putting brackets? Because the cube, this factor of three, actually acts on both the centi and the meter. Now, centi actually has a precise mathematical meaning, which is 10 to the power of minus 2. So this will actually be equal to 2.0 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meters, all of that raised to the power of 3. So if we expand the brackets, now what we're left with is 2.0 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Now we're just multiplying them. The, the powers out and uh, that will leave us also with meters cubed which is our answer okay moving on to the next one six micrometers to two meters well micro stands for 10 to the power of minus six or so 6.0 times 10 to the power of minus six meters that was, that was a much easier one and we've got one more over here which we need to convert 15 centimeters squared to meter squared once again i'm going to use uh, the method of um, just writing out some, some brackets right in front of the uh, centi so the square actually acts on everything and we're going to say that this is equal to 15 times centi stands for 10 to the power of minus 2 meters and then the whole thing is squared which is going to leave us with 15 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meters squared okay guys so hopefully those make sense if there are any questions please feel free to drop a comment down below have a look at a different type of problem one in which we're converting from the base unit to a prefix unit now if that's the case what we need to do is divide by the prefix factor for example if I wanted to convert 15 meters to kilometers the prefix for kilo is actually 10 to the power of 3 so what I need to do is I need to divide 15 by 10 to the power of 3. So this is going to equal 15 divided by uh, 10 to the power of 3, which is simply equal to um, 15 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Shall we just leave it in standard form? So it's going to be equal to 1.5 times 10 to the power of minus 2 kilometers. Okay, um, moving on, we have, if we want to convert one meter to a nanometer, well, once again, nano stands 
uh, stands for tensile power of minus 9. So we're going to need to divide 1 by tensile power of minus 9 because nano is just tensile power of minus 9. That's what nano means, which of course is going to equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power of plus 9 nanometers. Okay, perfect. And one last final example. If we want to convert 2 amps to milliamps, simply what we need to do is uh, once again divide by the factor. Now, milli stands for 10 to the power of minus 3. So we're going to need to divide 2 by 10 to the power of minus 3. So that's going to equal to 2.0 times 10 to the 3 milliamps or 2000 milliamps okay folks hopefully this makes sense once again if there are any questions please feel free to drop a comment down below